Welcome to This Week in Badger Athletics for the week of October 11th. I'm Patrick Herb. With Paul Bunyan's axe secured for the seventh consecutive season with a 41-23 win over Minnesota last weekend, the Wisconsin football team, ranked number 18th in the country, now turns to its next challenge, a date with number one Ohio State at Camp Randall Stadium. The Badgers will look for more of the same from Saturday's win against Minnesota when tailback tandem John Clay and James White combined for 229 yards and five touchdowns. However, the task only gets tougher this week against the unbeaten and top-ranked Buckeyes. I think a, a nice thing for us that kind of came out of the game on Saturday was the effect that uh, Tol uh, Tolzien going to Kendricks, Toon, Gilreath. Uh, now Abaderis is a very reliable resource. The more answers we can have that aren't pertain to necessarily running the football, um, the better off we are. Um, you know, now to go against a competition or go against a, an opponent at the level Ohio State's been able to uphold for so long um, is going to be a nice measuring stick. And I think our guys will uh, have that in the back of their minds and, and move forward. And uh, you know, hopefully everybody uh, will be in a position to be uh, at their best on Saturday. The Badgers showdown with Ohio State this Saturday is set to begin at 6 p.m. with both ESPN and ESPN 3D carrying the game live. The game, however, is just one of several free events happening on campus Saturday that you need to be a part of. Fans are being asked to turn out in full force for ESPN's College Game Day show, which is going to be broadcast live from campus at 8 a.m. A couple hours later, there's another can't-miss free event, Fieldhouse Madness with the men's basketball team. The Badgers will officially begin their 2010-11 season by taking over the Fieldhouse for the first time since 1998. Fans will get their first look at Bo Ryan's Badgers when the doors open at 2 p.m. for the 2.30 scrimmage. John Luer, Jordan Taylor and company will be available for autographs afterwards in addition to a number of contests and giveaways. Be sure to visit uwbadgers.com for complete details. On Friday and Sunday, the men's hockey team will open its home schedule with a pair of games against Alabama Huntsville. The Badgers come into the series after going 1-1 one one at last weekend's Icebreaker Tournament in St. Louis to open their season. When the rubber hit the road, I think we were pleasantly surprised with the amount of production that we got. And uh, power play seemed to be clicking. Uh, we made great improvements in our, uh, in our penalty killing. Uh, found out where our goalies were at. Uh, we had a couple surprises in, in, in our freshmen. And, and I think everybody uh, is excited about uh, you know, the first step. The puck drops on Friday night at 7 p.m. at the Kohl Center. And Sunday's game starts at 1 p.m. FSN Wisconsin will carry Friday night's game live, and the BigTenNetwork.com will have Sunday's game live. Wisconsin Volleyball will also enjoy a homestand this weekend, with the Badgers taking on Indiana at 7 p.m. on Friday, and Purdue at 1 p.m. on Sunday at the Fieldhouse. UW is still in search of its first Big Ten win after falling to Michigan and Michigan State over the weekend. With nine straight shutouts under its belt, the women's soccer team heads out on the road for a pair of crucial Big Ten Conference matches this week. The Badgers, who have not allowed a goal in over 900 minutes, look to extend their 10-game unbeaten streak with matches against Big Ten leader Ohio State on Friday and perennial power Penn State on Sunday. The Big Ten Network will air Sunday's match on a tape delay basis. Men's soccer has a week to build on its 3-2 loss to Michigan from Sunday as the Badgers travel to face Michigan State next Sunday in a match that will air live at 1.30 p.m. on the Big Ten Network. For more information on everything going on this week in Badger Athletics, stay with UWBadgers.com. We'll see you next week.